Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Abbas Tajuddin, has stressed the need to empower women, noting that it is a necessary strategic move for economic growth. The Speaker Abbas said it is disheartening that females are low in number at the National Assembly. The Speaker made this known today at the International Legislative Dialogue on Women and the Constitution Amendment process in Nigeria, which was organized by the House Committee on the review of the Constitution in the nation's capital. This was, however, not the case at the current 10th National Assembly, as only four women were voted into the Senate out of the 109 total members, while the House of Representatives has only 16 women out of a total of 360 members. This development, you will agree with me, gives credence to the propriety of today's gathering as it affords us the opportunity to discuss prevalent challenges hindering legislative actions and enhance awareness on the importance of temporary special measures such as legislated gender quotas, reserved seats, and political party quotas as gender responsive approaches to enhancing political inclusion and participation of women in the country. As we engage in this international legislative dialogue on women and constitution amendment, let us remember the pivotal role women play in shaping our society and the future for envision for Nigeria. For Nigeria, the current, current numbers are disheartening. Since 1999, women's representation in our National Assembly has remained disappointingly very low. Despite notable contributions from Nigerian women across various sectors, only 20 of the 469 seats in our National Assembly are today occupied by women. This stark gap speaks not of a lack of capable women, but of, all, uh, but of institutional barriers we must all work to dismantle. I'm honored to lead the House Committee on Constitution Review, where we have proposed bills aimed at correcting the gender imbalance within government at all levels. One such critical bill, a bill for an act to author the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 to provide for a seat reservation for women in the National and State Houses of Assembly, HB 1349, alongside other four gender justice bills are under consideration. This proposed legislation is designed to remedy the low representation of women by creating additional seats specifically for female candidates in national and state legislature. There is a strong evidence all around the world that as more women are elected to office, there is an increase in policy making that emphasizes quality of life and reflects the priorities of families, of youth, of marginalized groups for a more effective social, financial, and political inclusion. In this context, the ongoing, and somebody could say historical, constitutional reform process presents a singular opportunity to leverage political inclusion by adopting an inclusive legal framework that promotes equal participation of all Nigerians, regardless of gender, ethnicity, age, and disability status. Women's inclusion in leadership challenges cultural norms and promotes gender equality, sending the message to society that leadership is not limited by gender. Women in political roles serve as role models, inspiring more Nigerian women and girls and young women to pursue education, leadership, civic education, and many more. And I'm a testament of that, being inspired by many women growing up in the ghettos of Accra.